Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Two Alive News HD. I'm Nick Lully. We are here at the Runner's Village at the 26.2 with Donna at the Mayo Clinic here off San Pablo Road in Jacksonville. As you can see behind me, we have a lot of people here today uh, that are here in the Runner's Village. This is usually a, a, uh, a little area where it's only reserved for the people that are running. So as you can see, we have a lot of runners out there today, and they all are here in this fight against breast cancer. And we're going to continue to bring you updates throughout the day. Next, from the start and finish line, also joining me today, Megan Moser, our newest reporter on the Two Alive News HD. And next week, we're going to have a little more on that. But right now, here from the Runner's Village of the 26.2 with, uh, with Donna, I'm Nick Lully, Two Alive News HD. Back, everyone. I'm Nick Lally. We are now here at the start and finish line of the 26.2 with Donna. I have Megan Moser here. If you want to come on here, Megan, come here. Uh, we want to talk to you. Uh, apparently not. Okay, she's actually running the camera, so we'll get to her in a few minutes. But as you can see behind me, we have a lot of loud music, and a lot of people are now starting to actually come in. We are near the First Coast News Van uh, here uh, at the finish, start and finish line. Again, a lot of people. They actually have the 12.2 channel streaming up there behind me. Uh, so people can actually see the race as it happens, even though they're here live, they're going to be able to see it on television as well as it will be streaming there. We'll hear from the start and finish line. I'm Nick Lully, Two Alive News HD. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is marathon morning at 26.2 with Donna and listen, folks are beyond psyched out here. I'm Jeannie Blaylock. <laughs> They are assembling the walkers and runners and all the supporters in a half hour. We are just a few minutes away from the start of the race. Right directly behind the camera here, actually, is where all the people are congregating uh, here for the race. And they're about to start in just under uh, two minutes, I believe, is, is what we're down to right now. And we're going to bring you that right now. So we're just going to go back to that. And we are now out here on the race course as the runners have all left. Going on to JTB, we can see them down there all filing along as the race starts. And it's going to be heading out towards the beaches. And, no. That's okay. Mm. Three, two, one. And we are now back out here on, on the actual track, well not track, the road, San Pablo Road actually, as part of the race course, as the people on the race course are actually going on to JTB. They've already filed out of here, out of the area. We have Weather Plus back up here to track the latest information as the runners keep going towards the beaches, and they will end up back out here. Again, right out here, clear now, but earlier it was actually very crowded with a lot of runners. Well, for now, from the actual race course, I'm Nick Lully, to Alive News HD. I'm Megan Mosier and I'm here in Atlantic Beach off Ocean Boulevard. And the first few runners are just starting to come through here as you can see. It's very enthusiastic as people are starting to run through. I'm not sure if you can see anybody behind me, but we're where Atlantic Beach meets Neptune Beach. And I'm Megan Mosier for Two Alive News HD. And welcome back everyone to Two Alive News HD coverage of the 26.2 with Donna Marathon. I'm Nick Lally. And Megan Mosher. We're here at where Atlantic Beach meets Neptune Beach, where we see a lot of people running behind me. Uh, look at all those people, uh, actually. And we have a lot of people out here. We actually have uh, Media, First Coast News, who is the official media sponsor of the event. Megan, what do you think of all these people out here? They're very enthusiastic about this race. It's a great cause. Mm -hmm. It's to help fight the end against breast cancer, mm -hmm. which we all know takes lives of many, many women. Yes. It's just a horrible disease that happens to people. And obviously, people are running this because they have sisters and mothers and aunts and grandmothers that have suffered from this or because maybe a husband's running for his wife. That's true Megan. Yeah, actually we have a out here at Atlantic Beach, Neptune Beach, we actually were able to find power thanks to First Coast News. Thank you for that. And thanks we for actually, power. Yeah. And we have we have actually a small little, little studio set up here uh, where we've actually plugged in our um, our microphones so we're actually able to do this uh, we're for two wirelessly. people. Wirelessly. Yeah, wirelessly. That's that's important important. And we're actually it's we're actually able to do this uh, together. So I mean, it's we're everyone's having a great time out here. We have a lot of people out here actually uh, cheering on. A lot of people running. I mean, we've seen so far a lot of people coming through, but there's still going to be a lot more. As you can see, we have uh, another group of people here, and that's why you hear all that noise. Megan, just I mean, can you imagine like actually uh, just? I just think this is incredible the way that this has been organized by the Donna Foundation, the Marathon, Mayo Clinic, all of them, First Coast News, all of them really actually put a lot into this. It's I mean, really unbelievable, actually. It is. It They're is. so organized. It is, and it, it's, a, it's a great event out here. Um, I mean, next year, if, if you didn't come out this year, next year, next year, just definitely come out here because this is a great, great place to be out here. I mean, 
we're, we're, we're having a lot. We're having great time out here taping and stuff. And we, we've already got so much footage. I mean, there's just so much to cover. And I mean, you, you only have so much manpower. I mean, we had so much. We've. I mean, we've already been over. You know, uh, like almost all of Jacksonville's. You know, the yeah, eastern parts of Duval County. Yes. We, we went from Mayo Clinic all the way out here to the beach. So again. I mean, you know, you have a lot of stuff like that to do, but it's a very fun event. Uh, we have a little dog coming in here and says, oh, that's okay. Uh, again, that's what I'm saying. People are out here, they have their dogs out here. I mean, it's a, everyone's really just having a great time. It's a great event. I wish I could run my dog in this, in the race. No, but I said you're out here, you're out here rewarding out in the, out in the stuff. I mean, we don't have any time for that, but maybe next year, maybe. Uh, yeah. We got your dog and we'll have a little mascot on the news. Well, anyways, yes. out here tonight, uh, today, not tonight, it's still morning. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. I'm Nick Lully. I'm Megan Mosher. Thanks for joining us. It is just crazy here. I mean, we have a ton of people, people finishing the marathon, and also spectators that are still here to cheer on those that are crossing the finish line here at the 26.2 with Donna Marathon back at the start and finish line. Now the finish line, nobody's going yet. Everyone's coming back to the Mayo Clinic as the race starts finishing up. We have still yet to see Donna Deegan, the race founder, cross the finish line, but we're going to be expecting her shortly as more and more people continue to file through the finish line. From Mayo Clinic, I'm Nick Lully, 2 Alive News HD.